Hi guys, Mark Wood here and welcome to another video tip and in today's tip we're going to talk about how to hit the driver straight. A lot of golfers ask me, Mark, how can I hit my driver straight? I tend to, you know, I don't hit many fairways, please tell me how can I hit my driver straighter. So I've got three things that are really important for you to be concentrating on and doing in order for you to hit the driver straight. Number one is contact point on the club face. Now we want the ball to be struck nicely out the middle of the club face when it comes to hitting the driver. Because there's roll and bulge on the face, if you catch it slightly out the toe, it, it tends to pro promote a right to left shape for us right handed golfers. And if you hit it out the heel, it tends to promote more of a left to right shape. So sometimes you can be swinging in decent order in terms of club path being down target line and the face angle coming in fairly square, which are the other two key points. But because you're not hitting it quite at the centre of the club face, the ball goes off with some kind of spin on the ball. When you start wondering, especially if it goes left to right, you start thinking, oh, I'm coming across the ball or I'm leaving the face open. And realistically, you know, when we're using Flightscape, the path numbers are good, the actual face position is good, but the strike location has just been out the hill, which has promoted that left to right shape. So that's key point number one, is start to strike the ball nicely out the middle of the club face. So how do we know we're striking the ball from the middle of the club face? Well, what I want you to do is I want you to either get some dry shampoo or some athlete foot powder spray, and just basically spray that on the club face. You don't need much, and what that'll do, that'll leave a nice white powdery film. Now, when you're hitting golf balls at the range, because you've got some white powder film on the club face, as soon as that ball makes contact with the club face, it's going to leave the ball print on the face, and you'll soon know where you're striking the ball from. So let's just go ahead and hit one out there for you, and then I can show you that on the camera. So that's slightly, yeah, that's pretty much out the middle of the club. So I'm just going to bring that in so you can start to see that. So pretty much out the middle of the club face there. And that's going to be key point number one, is you need that strike to be out the centre of the club face. Now given that we're striking out the centre of the club face, if the ball is flying with any curve thereafter, we know that it's either a club face issue, club face open, or close. If the, if the club face is coming in open, the ball's going to start out right. If it's coming in close, it's going to start slightly to the left. Or it's a swing path issue, where the, the path is going out to in, or too much in to out. So now you know where you strike it from the club face, let's talk about the other key points. There's two more key points that you need to be doing for you to learn how to hit the driver straight. So we're going to talk about the club path. Now, by and large, to hit the ball straight, you want that club path to be somewhere at zero. So when we're using Flightscape, that registers club path. So you're either going to have a kind of a zero club path where the club is moving down target line, or a slightly out to win path where the club is moving left of target, or into out where the path is moving to the right of target. Now obviously if you're swinging out to win where the path is moving left of target as you're striking the ball, depending on, on the club face position, that ball, if your face is open, that ball is going to curve round to the right. If the face is shut to that path, the ball is going to come round, curve round to the left. So how do we know, obviously you probably haven't got access to sort of flight scapes or track mans or the GC quads. So one thing that you can do to help you start to get the path better through the ball is work on your parallels. So I always think in a golf swing, the shaft wants to get parallel to the target line five times. So you're parallel to target line once, parallel to target line twice, parallel to target line three, parallel to target line four, five, and then you finish your golf swing off. So we're going to check where we are when we're parallel to the, the ground at, at point number three on the way down. Now, I've just laid a blue cane down on the ground, which is roughly where my driver shaft is going to be over as I get somewhere into that position here. Now, if you start making a swing where you go this way, where you're spinning out the shot too early, which a lot of slicers do, you go this way, now that shaft is not parallel to my blue line. So if I've got the club way out in front of my hands, there's a good chance that I'm going to cut across the ball this way, which gives me that left path, which puts that left to right spin on the ball. Now, if I'm too much the other way where I'm getting too much inside, and the club head is way behind my hands, and this shaft's not parallel to that blue cane, I'm going to be hitting the ball too much from the inside where 
I can either block the ball miles to the right or I start to close the face in too much and then I, I end up hitting that hook. So what we're looking for there for that club path is when we reach this point here, the shaft wants to be parallel to the ground, parallel to the target line, and we know from there, there's a good chance that we should deliver somewhere at zero as we go through that golf ball. Don't forget what I said, if you get outside here, there's a good chance that you're gonna be left from that parallel there, and if you get too much from the inside here, there's a good chance that you're gonna be out there when you get to the fourth parallel there. So what we're looking for is parallel here, parallel to target line, then when you've gone through the ball here, you're gonna be somewhere parallel to that target line again, and that's gonna be fairly close to sort of a zero swing path. It's not gonna give you sort of too many crazy numbers in terms of a, a path that's violently left or violently right, which is gonna put a lot of the spin on the ball. So that's gonna really neutralize out your club path. The other thing to look for when you get to this point here is that the shoulders are gonna be slightly closed still. They're not gonna be open. If they're open, the shaft is gonna be way out in front of your, or the club head is gonna be way out in front of your hands. And if you're very closed, then the club head is gonna be very much behind your hands. So the, the shoulders are gonna be getting somewhere nearly back to parallel to the target line at that point there as well. And the weight's gonna be bumped into the left side and the hips are gonna be more open in relation to the shoulders. So that's key point number two on how to hit the driver straight. Now key point number three is gonna be club face position as we're striking the ball. Now imagine we're striking the ball out of the centre of the club face and we've got our club path at zero but the face is open, the ball's going to go way out to the right or if it's closed it's going to go low and to the left. So a great way for you to start to look at the club face control is to get a tee peg and literally put it in this part of the glove so you've got a tee peg, I did a video on this before, a tee peg coming out of the, the side of the glove here. Now, if you get to the top of the backswing and everything's good and you get down to this parallel here, the face of the club, the club head, I'll come around to the camera actually, the, the club face position when you're back to this parallel here wants to be somewhere between club face going straight up to matching the spine angle. So you can be from here to here. Now a lot of people that hit that big left to right shape there's a good chance that the wrist angles have turned this way and now the face is more up at the sky. Now notice the tee peg is facing up at the sky as well. So if this is you, you know, you're getting a centre strike and your path is pretty good, but you're coming in with the face open, what I would want you to feel is as you come down to this parallel here, try and feel as though you've got the tee peg turned down at the ground a little bit. So as you make your transition from the top of the backswing into this parallel here, you get the feeling that you're turning your knuckles down at the ground a little bit. Now if you hit the ball with too much right to left shape, what you want to feel is you're probably getting yourself too much bowed down with that left wrist so the club face is closed. Normally when this happens it's a bit of a low left one, but what you would want to feel is that you've got the tee peg for you, you're going to feel as though the tee peg's pointing up at the sky a little bit more. But it's just a great way for you to learn how to control that face angle in the swing. So, we go to the top, we get ourselves parallel to our target line here. All things being equal, we want the toe of the club pointing either up at the sky or matching our spine angle here. Now if we start to do that, then that's going to start getting that club face pretty much close to zero as we're coming into the, into the golf ball. Now you start to blend all those three things together and you're going to start bombing that driver down there nice and straight. Perfect, straight down the middle. And that's gonna really start to help you to hit the driver nice and straight. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video tip. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, post your comments below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below as well. Really appreciate your support, and many thanks for watching.